here I'm filling a bottle, just this is a maple syrup bottle with argon gas, and I'm going to cap it in a second. It's atmospheric pressure, and we're going to see if we can ionize the gas in this bottle. All right, I think we should be done. Just cap it. Okay, we have atmospheric pressure argon in the bottle. Now, let's do our test. Let's add some voltage. Whoa, look at that. That is absolutely amazing. It's beautiful. I think the argon's coming out of the bottle. Because now, look, I've got less of that effect. So here's the flyback transformer setup to get your high voltage AC electricity. And I can give you a link to a schematic of how you can make this. It's basically a modified version of Steve Ward's flyback driver. And then this is the flyback transformer, which is an AC transformer, which can put out up to 60 or more thousand volts and I'm varying the voltage with a variac so that um, I can get the optimal voltage. And this is a variable frequency flyback driver, which means that I can optimize it for different types of flyback transformers, which have different resonant frequencies. So I'm just gonna demonstrate the output of this thing. So bear with me a sec. Because of the amount of power these things can put out, you really have to be careful. And you don't want to hold this anything with your hand. All right.
So just a quick demo there of the flyback transformer and the flyback transformer driver. And um, that's basically it. And then you'll need bottles. So you, any old bottle will work. And you can fill these up with argon. This is the one I was using for the effects that you saw. And uh, you can get taller bottles. You can even use wine bottles for this. They work well. So there you go. Uh, in the future, what I'm planning to do is get some sodium metal and drop it in the bottom of this argon filled bottle. And then the sodium metal will evaporate and give it an intense yellow color, which will be really interesting. So I do have some sodium metal on order. Uh, right now I don't have it, so that'll come up in a later video. Argon and other noble gases such as neon, krypton, and xenon ionize really easily. Thanks for watching, folks. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And support this channel.